Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari and for fragments or vlog, uh, vlogmas, which is really the month of December, right? Uh, we're going to talk about various different fragrances that I think you either need to get for yourself or maybe even get for someone in your family. This one here is going to be another introduction uh, and it's an introduction to the Kai fragrance um, line. You may be familiar with his work. Uh, he was associated with Ganache, which was amazing. Uh, if you were a gourmand lover, I know you know about that brand. It was so good. He also came out with a coffee line, which was amazing. Uh, but he's back. You know, those two other previous lines are no longer in existence. I think Ganache might still be, uh, but I know it's not under him, right? So I had the opportunity to be gifted some fragrances and i wanted to talk about it with you all and let y'all know about it because of course if i if i get anything then i want to tell you about it uh if this is your first time ever seeing my face come across your screen welcome my name is claudia nari uh you can follow me on various different social medias uh if you want to keep in contact with me make sure you subscribe to all of my fellow subscribers who come back each and every time you all have been doing amazing and for that i say i appreciate you uh but if you have not subscribed yet go ahead subscribe and turn on your notification and that way you would not miss any video that i am posting but again this is going to be another introduction uh, i think i have a total of six that he sent out to me and i want us to dive right on in talk to you soon All right, so let's jump into them. I'm gonna give you, these are truly my first impression of them. Um, so I haven't had time to kind of wear on them yet. I've sprayed them a couple of times, uh, maybe uh, on my arm or something like that, but I haven't given it a good wear. But I wanna tell you my thoughts on what each one is as of now, right? So let's start off with the first one. It's called Justify Your Love. Justify Your Love to me is mostly pistachio right it's a lot of pistachio um in it uh it is tonka bean it is a uh, whipped cream it's a vanilla note uh, almond and a saffron note inside of it oh, hold on let me get uh something to spray it on um because i want to make sure i get a good smell yeah, it's mostly, um, oh, it's good. <laughs> it's mostly pistachio. I get a lot of pistachio. So if you like a nutty fragrance, I think that just justify your love. That's it. Oh, this is so his DNA. It's, it's edible. Um, the whipped cream, the pistachio, the almond, uh, with the saffron and the vanilla in the backdrop. Yeah, I like this one. This is Justify Your Love, all right? The next one uh, that I have is called There Always, There Will Always Be a You, okay? There Always Be a You. Hmm, this is interesting. It's, it's like sun-kissed skin. Yeah, this one is interesting. It's, it, it gives me the vibe of sun-kissed skin. Um, uh, based on the notes, it has sea salt in it. It has an oud note to it. Um, vanilla and amber. This is a very unique blend. It's a very unique blend because it's not what you think, right? You would think that sea salt and the and the oud wouldn't work. Like, it wouldn't work together. But this is really working out really good. Like, yeah, I'm going to have to give this one a little more time. It's called There Will Always Be a You. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, To me, this is a good, like, vacation scent. Like, say, like, you outside and uh like sun like sun kissed skin if you're outside this would probably be great in the summer uh because it would give you this like sexiness yeah 
there will always be a you. Okay, the next one that I have is called Still Here. I like the names. I can tell you that. I do like the names. Oh, there's a sugariness to this. Uh, based on the notes, it is sun, uh, uh, it is fawn sugar, like spin sugar, like almost like cotton candy. Um, but it's something else. It's a oh, it says it has woody notes, amber, and a vanilla. Oh, if you like, if you like pink sugar, yeah. If you like pink sugar, you're gonna love this one. It's pink sugar grown up, like it's matured pink sugar <laughs> that's what it is so if you like pink sugar but it was a little too adolescent for you or a little too young for you then still here still here will probably be the one that you will really enjoy because it would give you that pink sugar vibe more mature yeah that's what i get all right now i know there's one that has a coffee i hopefully that's this one yes it is yes 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 i smelled that one in the box and I, this might be the one that I have, I have worn. I've worn this one because I really enjoyed this one. This is called Hot Like Fire. Oh, I really like this one. And probably because I like chocolate and coffee. But this one has like a cacao uh, powder, like note to it. It has dark chocolate. It has this coffee oil right? Um, not too sure what the coffee oil is. And then it has this patchouli and, it, and it's orange flower. Hot like, hot like fire. To me, I thought when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is going to be like a, a red hot type scent. I was so wrong. I was incorrect. This one is really good and it's beautiful on skin. It is beautiful on skin. If you like a cacao chocolate note, hot like fire. You got to go get this one, hot like fire. Because it's cacao and dark chocolate. Mm, I can smell this one for a long time. But I like gourmand. So that might be the reason. All right. The next one, I love the name of this one. Like this one is so the name, you know. It just makes me feel, it's called brown skin. And all I can think of is India Ari brown skin. Well, okay, okay, okay. I don't want to lose focus. That's what I thought of when I saw the name. But this one, this one is very unique. It's very unique. It has, and I'm going to give you the notes. It has a violet note. Iris, it's amber. It's a lot of amber. It's a lot of an amber note. Uh, there's this pink truffle and uh tonka is rose it has this vanilla absolute in it i just realized what this is and why i think that this is so unique this is black opium <laughs> that is what this reminds me of black opium and i must say for me black opium was not a um a must in my in my collection it was not one that i wanted to keep and i think it was the black truffle uh yeah i think it was that black truffle note so if you have not come across black truffle or you want an idea of what that is uh think of black opium so if you like black opium then you're gonna like brown skin you're gonna love brown skin because that's exactly that's a, exactly what this smells like black opium Okay, the last one that I have uh, that was sent to me is called Raspberry Beret. Raspberry Beret. I mean, oh my lord, what is going on with me today? I oh, I can't I can't think. Every time I think of anybody who says Raspberry Beret, I think of Prince. <laughs> That's all I can think of. I love that song. I know I'm probably aging myself, but that was my song. But let's get back focus. Uh. Raspberry beret is oh it's good. It's, it's, if you if you want a raspberry scent, let me go over the notes. The notes is like a woody base to it, like a like a woody base. 
and it's raspberry and it's like a bowl of red berries like a almost like a sherbet like you would get a more well, like a yogurt and they put red berries on it that's what you're gonna get and then looking at the notes he said there is some secret notes so <laughs> i guess he didn't want us to know what all was in this one but it's good even though he doesn't give you all the notes to it, uh, he keeps a bit of mysteriousness or uh, with it. This is good. This is a good raspberry scent. So if you like raspberry fragrances, oh, if you like raspberry fragrances, you're going to love this. You're going to absolutely love this. Raspberry Beret. It is really good. Oh, God, it's really good. It's like... It literally smells like a, like a yogurt, like you got a yogurt and you put red berries on it. Oh, it's good. I just feel like I could just, I feel like anybody wearing this, somebody gonna take a bite out you. I like this one. I like this one. So if I had to put them just again, this is my first impression. If I had to put them in order of what I like, I would say go to the website and I'll make sure that the website is linked in the description below get hot like fire if you like a good chocolate coffee note uh if you want a fruity note raspberry beret um if you um my next one i would say for me it would be still here because i like uh i like the sponge sugar sugariness of this one still here um if you want something like just to have that you can throw in your uh, bag when you go on vacation or you just out uh, on, on a summer day. I would say there would always be a you. Um, if you like nutty fragrances, then justify your love. And only for me, because black opium is not one of the fragrances that I'm super fond of. But if you like black opium then brown sugar. That's the way I would do it. So again, this was an introduction to the Kai fragrances. In the description is a link to his website. Please go and check him out. Uh, I greatly appreciate the opportunity to be able to review his fragrances, but I was a true fan of Ganache. So I was, I did not, I already knew that I was not going to be disappointed. And if you like ganache, which had all of those good edible gourmand fragrances, then you're going to love this line. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that I introduced it to you. I've been in, truly enjoying doing this uh, vlogmas or fragments with you all in the month of December. I have a lot of other videos coming up. So make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss out. Um, if you made it this far... I have two lives coming up, right? Um, I'm going to work with doing some layering with Nazar fragrances. And then I have a live coming up on what the Nazar one is on Friday and the uh, at 6 p.m. Central Time. And the layering of the Dua fragrances is going to be Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Time. So please come back, come back to the channel. Uh, talk to me one-on-one. This is going to be where I can see what your messages are and I can answer you on the spot. Uh, if you cannot make it, please catch the replay. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Uh, I wish you the best. I, uh, I want to say thank you to any time that you got to watch this. If you saw it in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, you all have been amazing with watching my videos. Please keep that up and I'll see you in the next video.